हेलो एंड वेलकम टू द सेकंड पार्ट ऑफ आईएमएफ सो आईएमएफ मींस इंटरनेशनल मॉनेटरी फंड दैट इज वर्किंग सिंस 1945 आफ्टर द सेकंड वर्ल्ड वॉर टू रिमूव द प्रॉब्लम ऑफ इंटरनेशनल लिक्विडिटी टू रिमूव द प्रॉब्लम टू ब्रिंग द हार्मोनी अमंग द वेरियस नेशन ऑफ द वर्ल्ड एंड टू रिमूव द ऑल सॉर्ट्स ऑफ ट्रेड प्रॉब्लम इन द इंटरनेशनल मार्केट सो टुडे वी शैल डिस्कस हाउ द रिसोर्सेस कम टू द आईएमएफ and in our first part we discuss the uh, the members uh, the how the member nation from the imf and its objective what today we shall discuss the resources of imf and the function of imf let us come how the resources come to imf and how it functions so you you people see that the resources of imf is subscribed by its member nation the subscription of each member is based on the national income and its position in the international trade each member nation has to contribute 25% of its quota in term of the dollar and 75% of the domestic currency sdr are international reserve asset created by imf so you see that the resources of imf come from the member nation so how every member nation contribute something for to towards the resources of imf and how they contribute by observing their position in international trade and position of the nation that's very in financial position of the nation very important one and the position in the international trade that is very important one their trade position is very important one and we observe that the imf observe that and take the funds from that and the funds is given 25% of the funds is given in term of us dollar or gold and 75% of the funds is given in term of domestic currency that is deposited in the central bank of the nation so you people see that the funds mostly come from the member nation and sdr sdr are uh, international reserve asset created by imf since 1969 so special drawing right is according to the funds given by the nation now we shall discuss the function first main function of the uh, imf is to maintain the exchange rate stability to stabilize the exchange rate exchange rate is made in term of international currency and domestic currency so how exchange rate the exchange rate floating exchange rate there are the severe up down of exchange rate that should be within 1% either down of 1% or up of 1% depreciation or appreciation of exchange rate that is allowed and that is made by the nation that stability of exchange rate is very important one that is that function is done by the imf second one per value in term of gold or us dollar determined by the nation itself the per value that's that changes that increase from 10% to 20% that the variation of per value is that done by the nation itself that the, the imf not interfere in the determination of per value whether to increase the per value by 10% or decrease the per value or variation of per value according to the crisis of the balance of payment to remove the crisis of the balance of payment imf is working to remove all sorts of depreciation or that a uh, deficit in balance of payment or surplus in balance of payment that can be removed by uh, this policy by you see that that per value is determined according to that then whatever credit that available to the uh, nation the member nation that you see the basic credit facilities is available to the member nation to remove the balance of payment crisis the current balance of payment crisis that can be removed by providing the basic credit basic credit is given by the imf to remove the uh, current balance of payment crisis whether there are the uh, deficit in balance of payment to in improve in balance of payment the imf finance loan uh, to the nation so that there are the development of trade commerce business and that crisis can be removed out and that is 25% of the quota the basic credit is 25% of the quota extended credit facility is given up to 140% to remove the long term balance of payment crisis to remove the long term balance of payment crisis that the 140% of the quota is given in the form of loan 
and buffer stock is available to the uh, developing nation that's your nation those who are exporting the primary product to stabilize the price of the goods and services or to stabilize the price of the primary product in the nation and next one the dollar fund or the funds available in term of gold or dollar to remove the problem of demand and supply of currency so in order to bring the equality in the demand and supply of currency there you see the dollar funds are available to the nation by the imf to maintain the liquidity the member nation purchase their own currency the member nation purchase their own currency to maintain their own liquidity liquid cash is available in the nation so according to demand of the product demand of the currency they purchase the currency from the international market interest rate is charged by the imf over the loan that's a very low rate of interest is charged at the first term of loan or first tranche and the subsequent loans there the higher rate of interest is charged by the imf so that it discourage to taking further loan by the member nation so you people know that how am i how the resources are generated the resources are generated by the member nation that is 25% in term of gold or international dollar or us dollar and 20 to 75% are deposited in the central bank of the nation that is uh, in term of domestic currency and function main function of imf is to remove the balance of payment crisis and equal bring the equality in the demand and supply of money and that so uh, currency their depreciation appreciation that up to some extent and the per value that's given the right by the imf and imf is the um, topmost organization to provide the inter- liquidity to the nation and solve the problem it gives loan to the member nation to solve the problem of international crisis so there you see you people how the resource is generated and there's a function that's i am giving the six function of imf that you people understand this and this was for today thank you